This video and ones like it are made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want to have a say in what games and topics are covered on this channel, head over to patreon.com forward slash Tugi24 and get involved. You can also head over to my Teespring store to buy shirts that you'll never wear in public. Link in the description. Boys, people, my friends, we're raising money today. It's another charity stream. Working alongside my friends at Soft Giving. This is our third stream with them. They are lovely, lovely people. Not our Pride Month. We're raising money for the Trans Empowerment Project. I put out a little bit of details on Twitter. The bottom line is they help people who need it. You know, they, whether or not it's directly helping them in terms of direct aid, suicide prevention's a big part of it. Just outright helping people get off the fucking streets and get an opportunity. It's ridiculous, man. Great, great, great cause. We'll raise some money today. We got some, you know, we got some things. We got some things to give away. Not a ton. There's not as much as we normally do because of the Finland trip. If you have the ability to give and you do, I thank you for it. Who knows? I might end up bald by the end of this. I might end up with pink hair by the end of this. I might end up with weird, uh, weird haircut by the end of this. Might end up having to fucking eat something fucking gross and sour. I don't fucking know. We'll figure it out, man. We'll figure it out. It's the least I can do, especially after a day like yesterday. Again, my attitude is always, if you're not hurting anybody, let people just fucking be people. And unfortunately, a lot of people are douches uh, in the simplest terms. We, we are going to play some franchise mode because that's what we do here. That is what we do here. And I'm excited for it. The pink skullet. Who knows what might happen, man? Who knows? Oh, so we will be the 33rd team in the Chell, and we will create a team as we do the Blank Pride. You know, it's pretty much the direction we were going to go with it. I don't know about you, but the name Burnaby NHL 33 just really doesn't, uh, really doesn't do it for me, you know? The Prid. <laughs> oh, goodness. Goodness, goodness, goodness. Now the question is whether or not I'll waste three hours setting up jerseys, and I might. Goodness. <laughs> the peg, the peg city pride. You know, could be done. <laughs> the Poughkeepsie pride. Who says no to the Poughkeepsie pride? Ooh, the Praha pride. So, Sundrop, you're way ahead of me. That is the plan. Our primary colors will be the colors of the uh, trans flag. So, the uh, the blue, pinkish, salmonish, and white. Something about the Praha Pride, the Portland Pride Pirates. <laughs> oh, let's see. I mean, I think it comes down to Praha, Portland, Pond. What the fuck is Pond Mills? Or, I mean, is 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 Peg City Pride too on the nose here? Is is Peg City Pride? You know, I think it's got to be. It's gotta be. There's, there's no choice. Um, we'll just we'll go with the peggers. Uh, do they have pride as a name? They have to. They don't? How the fuck are you gonna have priests, but you don't have pride as a play-by-play -play name? You got the motherfucking pizza rolls, but you don't have pride as an option, huh? EA anti-woke, right? Oh, goodness. Well, we might have to go with... Uh, that, you know, that, okay. Well, there might, there might be a name that is still funny enough to make the... <laughs> I have a lot of questions. What the fuck? <laughs> like, I get the idea. I get the idea. And a big shout out to Paps Bear Hatman for our first 25er. Now... Mr. Bear Hatman, you have just secured yourself. If you are still here when we get to the draft, you have just secured yourself the very first pick in team history. Congratulations. 10 bucks, you get a pick of the people that are on screen. 25 bucks or more, you get to pick anybody that you want. So you could totally tank our first draft if you wanted to. But congratulations, that first pick is yours if you are here when we get to that deal the fucking white prospects like i get it, it's like the chl like team white team red but like what the fuck man oh boy you know i've barely i've barely looked through these the tactics <laughs> it's not even tactics it's the tactics how they fuck up the name 
Ooh, we should we should pick hey look Deej's name is still in there so we should we should totally we'll go with the sinners that's in there because of mr sin for the win and uh you know there we go there we go uh, our abbreviation clearly has to be peg and uh ooh, the arena name the arena name the arena name can i put fuck ted cruz as the arena name will it allow that hey cool there's our arena name the fuck ted cruz arena perfect i can think i can think of no better name than the fuck ted cruz arena absolutely perfect oh aj did the five come through it did there it is aj thank you the k lord entertainment arena right aj thank you for the five everybody appreciate it again i don't know how much we'll raise today but something's better than nothing you know the problem is like last december we set the bar so fucking high with like eleven thousand dollars for god's sakes like just before christmas it was crazy i don't expect we'll ever do that again but hey you never know all right so 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 team colors we need to get the appropriate team color and to be honest i feel like that blue is perfect the question is can we get the proper shade of pink that we're looking for here uh right about there that is about as close as we're gonna get we're gonna go for it all right let's get ourselves a logo here what is the best logo for what we are doing here? I mean, the unicorns, pretty fabulous. I mean, Peg City Pride with a hot dog as the logo. Is that too on the nose? Oh, we could bring back the North Bay Doolin' Narwhals. It's an all time team name that we had once upon a time. I'm not sure where to go in terms of the logo. Is there a good enough logo in the ECHL? Ah, oh, mm, you know, I kind of forgot we had access to this now. And I've been wanting to use this logo all year. Now might be the time. Let's see if we can make this look uh, like I hope we can. Because there is a chance that we could have this looking pretty nice. All right. We're going to have to mess around with the colors a little bit. Give me a minute to mess around a little bit. We'll get to where we're going. I think, I think I'm digging that version of it. That's not a bad little logo, though. What do we think? What do we think? Do we invert the colors or is that good? I'm kind of liking that version of it. I think that looks good. I think that looks real good. Done deal. In terms of the alternate logos, I have no idea. I mean, we could go with the old Storm Bears. The old Storm Bear logo, you know? Yeah, Herms, I, I was thinking the Coyotes uh, Crescent Moon might be a good way to go. I was thinking it would be Piney with the 25er. Let's go, Piney. Let's go. So I'm talking about Piney, thank you. You beautiful, handsome man. Uh, I think some of those alternate logos will be the better way to go. Obviously none of those are gonna be that good. Sorry, I'm just taking a look at some of these logos. Let's go Deeds with the 50. That's our first 100 in the books. That's what I'm talking about. Again, anybody that donates at least $10, you get to make a selection in one of our drafts so long as you are still here. It also enters you into the running for our top donor award the person who donates i gotta fix the bar really quickly by the way the person who donates the top amount of money in this charity stream will be joining myself endo mills and mr sim for the win on an episode of the tukey's take podcast because i didn't know what else to do for a top donor award so deeds right now as it stands we got a long way to go but we might be listening to you on an episode of the podcast like I said, we don't have as much stuff to give away as we have in the past, but hopefully we did okay. Oh, goodness. I don't know what to do for uh, for another logo here. Crescent Moon might not be that bad. There is the idea of the hot dog. How how would this unicorn look? Let's be honest. I think we have to, I think we have to at least take a look. You know, I don't hate it. I don't hate it. Zone 2 is pink. It's an option. The problem is it messes with the uh, the horn a little bit. Although it's just, it's almost, it's almost too much. Like this does work. Zone one white. Eh, we could mix it up a little bit. That's not too bad. That, you know, I think that was the answer. I think Brockway got it. Ender, thank you for the fiver. That's the logo right there. I think we could, uh, we could maybe slightly mix it up. What if I run the inverse? Make the outline black. That's what it was originally. I think I like the other version better. Yeah. 
That uh, looks a hell of a lot better. All right, cool. So we got an alternate logo. I don't think we need a third one. It's going to be very tough. Look at how fucking sick those two logos are, man. God damn. And now we go for the jerseys. Always fun. And I'm sure we'll spend a hell of a lot of time setting up the team. I was thinking, honestly, the Anaheim alts would be pretty nice because of the striping. There's obviously like the Montreal style jerseys. There's the Kachina, just which could provide an interesting pattern. So obviously this is gonna this is gonna look horrific at the start. But like I said, like if you go with the the Anaheim style, you know you have the the striping on the interior to work with. Pens fan with the tenor. This was the one I was really thinking about. This one could work too, the old duck style. There's quite a few that would be decent. Again, you do have the uh, the ab style, which could work. I mean, yeah, with a little bit of little bit of tinkering, this one could end up looking pretty nice too. And then there's the hurricane style. I do think if we were to kind of tinker around with the hurricane style as well, it could end up looking pretty good. Like I said, there's a lot of good options. On a look here. All right. Let's just say, for example, right? For example, I'm not saying this is the one that we're using, but if we poke around, let's see if we can get a combination that we like and see if that's the way to go. I just feel like it's almost too plain with the colors that we have available to us. Bunny, thank you for the fiber. Appreciate it. I don't know, I just feel like this one, uh, with the colors that we have available to us, just doesn't quite work for me. Blue home pickle rainbow. It's not a bad option. Then we got some guy named Hawks with 120. Five dollars. Hawks, we might be seeing you on a podcast, brother. Yeah, limited colors to work with, so it will take a bit of work. Mm. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't. Hello. Striping on that one's been interesting. It is very Winnipeg esque, though, isn't it? There's gotta be. Well, something we can do slap the logo on there to really help us kind of take a I love how that logo looks by the way that logo is fucking tremendous <laughs> it's so good now we can't do what the uh, real ECHL team did and half-ass the jerseys once you have a phenomenal logo gotta make the most of it that's not looking that bad to roll with here. I don't hate this. What do we got? 25 from Cam. Let's go. Question for the streamer. Would you rather have $10 million, but your butt's on your chest, or be able to see 30 minutes into the future at any given moment, but when you speak, you can only say Aflac. I'll take, uh, I'll take the ass chest, because then I have 10 million bucks. And you didn't say anything about not being able to get it surgically removed. And then even then, even then, I, I don't know. I, I don't see having an ass chest as wholly detrimental, because you see, holy. Um, I don't see that as as detrimental as uh, only being able to say Aflac. You know, 30 minutes can make you a betting god. Though. Yeah, but I already got 10 million. Oh, we gotta find the right jersey for this look. There's gotta be one template. It really brings it all together. I mean, there are a couple of jersey templates here that I don't mind, but I've yet to really see like the one that stands out as like, yes, that's it. You know? We're still in Adidas territory. You know, Montreal style doesn't look that bad. I actually don't hate the Montreal setup for this. It might be the way to go. So theoretically, if we were to run Montreal style, how would we be looking? And speaking of how we're looking, one hundred dollar reduce. That pushes us past our first giveaway there. You'll love to see it. And puts us now into contention for a full review of Garfield cart on YouTube. If we were to hit $800, Risk it for the biscuit with a big one, hundo. Let's go. You'll love to see it. So, I have a couple of FHM codes to give away, everybody. And we will set up a wheel spin. All right. Let's spin this bad boy. Again, I got three FHM eight codes to give away. 
the first one you might even be able to hear emmy barking outside is going to mr odd cameron more codes to give away for fhm pens with these fhm8 codes shout out to piney <laughs> i don't know if piney's still here either he was on mobile it's a beautiful thing so yeah like i said uh, i don't have as much to give away this time out so the idea was let's just uh do stupid shit like hey here's a fucking garfield cart review uh brock it would have i know the black looks out of place but it would just it would it's just you need it you need it to bring the rest of the colors together and i'll show you what i mean you see it's just it doesn't it's just it, it you need it you need it it's a necessity you know the unicorn logo it's the same idea it is the same idea in fairness, we can do that to give it more of a sharp outline. Back to the unis. I think, again, we have our general direction set up. Uh, we do got to find a proper font. Is there, is there one that, like, really stands? There are a couple that look decent, honestly. For some reason, that font looks huge, but it looks awesome. I think we have a winner with 27. Enjo, Endo mentioned 21. Eh, 21's not bad. Buck's mentioning number 11. We'll go take a look at that in a minute. Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. We're not going with the Rangers font. The Rangers font looks like trash on any other jersey except theirs. Like trash. This might be where that extra bit of black comes in to make these uh to make these logos pop. Alright, and then on the buckets, I think we'll do the same thing. There we go, there we go, there we go. Honestly, not bad at all. There is striping that matches what's on the jersey. I just gotta find it. Beaut. Oh yeah, these are... Don't know if I'll keep the pants that same color. These are gonna end up looking pretty good. Bouncy McBoink Boink. That's a name change, but one for the better. Thank you for the six months. But see, this is the only thing that I'm wondering, is if I do a different pants color, the socks might look a little bit better. For the most part, this is gonna end up looking pretty damn good. See, I mean, technically, technically, if you want it matching the flag, that's what it would look like. I still don't hate that. I think it would open up a different uh, possibility for the fonts. I don't mind this. I'm trying to see if we can get a font here that really brings it together. That's not bad, but it's not awful. I'm trying to make this work without having to have that little bit of, uh, without having that little bit of black but it's just not, not quite coming together. Again, like look at just how much a little bit of black with the numbers makes it pop, you know? Yeah, that's that's the way to do it. That's the way to do it, no doubt. Glove color. Honestly, I'm good with that. And goalie equipment we can customize later. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. Like I said, there's, um, you know, we kind of have some restrictions based off of what we're kind of going for versus what the game's even capable of doing. But let's see what we got here. I, I like them though. I like that home uni a lot. Like I said, I mean, especially too, like you had the uh, the Lions putting together that that logo and the uh, actual ECHL team's jersey suck. To get that out of that, I don't hate it. I mean, yeah, okay, Endo says he's working on it. So yeah, I mean, if anyone has NHL 22, load it up. Uh, send me on Twitter your idea really quickly of what an alternate jersey could be, and if I like it enough, we'll run with it. Honestly, this might be the way to go. This might be the way to go. Let me see what this looks like inverted. Ooh, it looks good either way. It looks good either way. What do we think? Blue outline or uh, pink outline? I'm, th I'm leaning towards the blue outline. Larger pink collar might be the way to go. You knew we'd spend a lot of time with the jerseys. You knew we would. Yeah, I think white's the way to go for this. I just don't like the fucking gigantic collars on the Adidas. But I, I'm already kind of liking this look. All right, I gotta invert this real quick. I think we saw that this was the better way to go. Do want to get to our first draft <laughs> sometime soon, so. We'll see what the uh, what the alt situation looks like in a minute. All right, now the only question would be the pants. I would say for it to be pink with a blue outline. I agree with the white socks idea. Would be very on brand for me, you know? We had one stream one night where we spent three goddamn hours making jerseys, so it would be very, very on brand. Just trying to see if there is a... Uh... 
a style here that makes sense. All right, so the big question is gonna be pink pants or blue pants? Looking like it's probably gonna stay pink pants. All the, ooh, you know? I don't know, chat, what are we feeling? The pink pants or the blue pants? There's something about the blue pants that I feel like works a little bit better. I'll get to, I can take your word for it. I don't know, man, there's just something about the blue that I feel like looked a little bit better. But I'm not against this. I just don't know what to do for, uh, for striping. I honestly, I like that better. I like that better. I think we're good, right? Home, away. We'll take a look at Endo's alt ideas in a second. Honestly, I like it. I think we got it. Only thing I'm gonna do is just double check one thing about the numbers. I can't imagine. Ooh, you know, you know, I think that is, what are we thinking? Do we stick with a little bit of black in the numbering? Or do we go with that? Because I don't hate that. I think that bit of uh, that bit of white helps break it up a good amount. So it's either what's on the back or what's on the sleeve. I really don't. Let me see what that looks like really quickly in full. I think it looks a little bit better on the back. It doesn't look as good on the sleeves. Looks good on the back, but it doesn't look good on the sleeves. Although, God, it really does look good on the back. It just doesn't look good on the sleeves. I'm gonna have to go full penguins. I say full penguins because I don't think the penguins jerseys look good with a bunch of different uh, bunch of different numbers on it. I want, I, I really like the number on the back. I just don't like the idea of having the separate color on the side, but you know what? I think I'm just gonna run with it. What if we just take away the side? Ah, uh, you can still see it? What? That's so stupid. Why is it? I guess it's because of the stitching. Oh, that would bother the hell out of me. All right, well, it doesn't make the other idea look as bad now. We ended up getting it so the back numbers look fucking awesome. It's the the side numbers that uh, look a bit better on the road, Uni. I think we're good. All right, let's see if Endo Mills was able to put together. And we got a couple, ooh, we got a couple of, uh, couple of people. Snipe and Score, Ender, and Endo Mills. who have all thrown their name into the hat here on their jerseys. So let's take a look. I get what you're going for. Ooh. Now, that's just a nice looking jersey. And then from Endo Mills, that's pretty fucking magical. I think we gotta go with Endos, don't we? That way we can still have a pink uniform. Endo wins. <laughs> so congratulations, Mr. Mills. We have a winner. I don't disagree that Endo's gloves look fucking sweet, but at the same time, it's like, eh. It's just, it doesn't, it essentially doesn't matter because you can't guarantee it'll look like that because the uh, depending on the glove that the player uses, it can change things up. I think we got our three unis here. I'm in love with this home uni. Absolutely in love with it, especially with the back numbers. Just couldn't get it to look as good on the arm. I think the white road uni ended up looking fucking phenomenal. And then we got the pink alt. Fucking GG. Those are some of the best unis we've ever put together. And then for the arena. This will not take nearly as long. Uh, Goalhorn. Oh boy. Well, we're gonna have to listen to this. We're gonna have to listen to these. I don't even know how much we'll actually get to do anything, but we are gonna have to listen to these. Can we make our own? I mean, yes, but I'm sure there's gonna be half decent ones. So let's see, we got the trucks. We got the trombones. The party horns. <laughs> it's beautiful, by the way. <laughs> it might have to be that one. Now we have a lion, not a tiger. But we might have to go with the tiger roar, right? I mean, it, it fits. It fits the logo pretty well. I like the leopard sound effect, but the horn before it was fucking stupid. We can go with Big Cat. We can go with Big Cat. Big Cat's okay. And to cap this bad boy off, we need a mascot. Closest thing we have to a unicorn is just the outright horse. And there's only one name. We're bringing back Beastie. <laughs> there's only one name and one mascot for me, baby. And we're bringing back Beastie. It's time for him to come back. We'll go with the sex number. 
But it's time for Beastie to come back. One of our better memes, to say the least. No matter what the hell we pick, the eyes are horrifying. There you go, Beastie, with your eyes that just stares into the souls of the children that just want to come up and get a picture. He does. He looks like he's wearing a goddamn diaper. Fucking ridiculous. There we go. The Beastie is back. Does it make sense, given that our mascot's a lion? No. No, it doesn't. I guess we could go with a lion instead. I mean, it's literally our mascot is a lion. We should probably, <laughs> we should probably have a lion. Now that I, uh, now that I really think about it, you said this had to make sense. That's a fair point. Do we, do we stay with Beastie then? We'll save me time. The steed is back. The Peg City Pride are ready to go. Under two hours, by the way, to set that up. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Now it's time to customize the AHL team. That's right, I forgot that we play at the fuck Ted Cruz Arena. <laughs> uh, let's go with the uh, Firebirds for Seattle. There we go. I have uh, Seattle with the Coachella Valley Firebirds. So for us, we do need an AHL team. I don't hate the whole Hawaii Rainbow Warriors thing. If it'll fit. It's gonna be too many letters. Yeah. The Brokeback Mountaineers. God damn it, Endo. Rainbows. Alright, Endo wins. I got it. I got it. Congratulations, Endo. You got the win. We're gonna be the New Orleans Rainbows. So we have to define where Peg City is. <laughs> if we were Peg City, where would we be? And I'm going to leave this up to you guys. We will put up a poll here. The Pacific, the Central, the Atlantic, and the Metro. In theory, Peg City could be in Winnipeg, but let's be honest, Peg City, that can be anywhere your heart desires. Looks like we're going to be a Western Conference team. It's not that bad. Every time I put up a poll, people make sure it's fucking tied, so. Ends up in a tie. We will stay in the Pacific. That's 
to where it put us initially and that is where we shall stay so owner mode will be off we'll be adding a contract year salary cap is on gm firing off turn that off turn that off morale is going to be off computer trades fine seattle can be trapped exempt that is fine look at this man look at this craziness this is gorgeous this is fucking gorgeous that is fucking beautiful two hours later hey fuck you take as long as we want damn can't believe how good this came out all right let's get this draft to glory on the road baby